Among U.S. immigrant communities, there's almost always someone who knows a coyote. Mexican Saul Gutierrez says here in Atlanta, Georgia, where he has lived for over 20 years, all you need to do to connect with a human smuggler is plug into the city's large Latino community grapevine. They are easy to find. You ask around and people can put you in touch with coyotes in Mexico who bring migrants over here. Indeed, it seems wherever Latino communities are concentrated in the U.S., human smugglers have a presence. Today, the U.S. represents a lucrative market for Mexican human smugglers and organized crime, with some dollar value estimates into the billions. To make the most of it, human smugglers not only offer their services to would-be migrants in their home countries, but also to Latino communities here, looking to bring family members into the U.S. Today, uh, the leaders on this stage are joining together the U.S. government launched what it called an unprecedented interagency campaign in April to tackle human smuggling, deploying more than a thousand agents in Latin America and across the southwest border. The multi-million dollar strategy aims to use increased surveillance to better identify smugglers, as well as target their financial assets. Tim Isaacson of the nonprofit legal aid organization Immigrant Hope says he counsels migrants against using human smuggling networks, but that too many families feel they have no better option. The reason why they're, they're going thousands of miles on foot to send money back home, when you live in that level of commitment to family, um, this, is, this is just another desert to walk through. Despite the dangers migrants face, highlighted by the tractor-trailer deaths last month in San Antonio, Saul's wife, Teo, doesn't blame human smugglers, rather the conditions that make their services so sought after. The fault is of those who are higher up, of those who don't allow people real opportunities in their home countries. If it wasn't for that, none of these tragedies would have occurred. As desperate people continue to see legal migration to the U.S. as nearly impossible, the illegal human smuggling route will likely remain a sought-after alternative. Alastair Bavistock, CGTN, Atlanta, Georgia.